the assembly will hear an address by His Majesty King Mswati III, Head of State Kingdom of Swaziland. I request protocol to escort His Excellency. On behalf of the General Assembly, I have the honor to welcome to the United Nations His Majesty King Mswati III, Head of State Kingdom of Swaziland, and to invite him to address the Assembly. Mr. President, Your Excellencies, Heads of State and Government, United Nations Secretary General, distinguished uh, delegates, ladies and gentlemen. Mr. President, allow me to express our sincere congratulations to you on your election as the President of the 72nd session of the United Nations General Assembly. We commend you for immediately identifying six overarching priorities for your tenure that touch on attaining peace, giving impetus to the SDGs, climate change, climate change commitments, equality, and human rights for all, among others. These priorities, these priorities truly capture several of the current troublesome global challenges, and we look forward to working closely with you on these issues. The Kingdom of Eswatini would also like to, uh, to commend the leadership of the new Secretary General, who is committed to transforming the UN to be the UN to be fit for the 21st century. The reform of the United Nations and its uh, attendant bodies has been discussed for a substantial period of time. My delegation believes that uh, fresh impetus must be given to this process and tangible progress made. We are therefore encouraged by the intentions of the Secretary General to refocus our attention on the reform agenda. The reform of the Security Council is key aspect of the, of the process and no transformation could be complete without its fundamental change. To this end, the Kingdom of Eswatini wishes to reiterate Africa's call for permanent membership to the Security Council in accordance with the Ezulini Consensus. <laughs> the United Nations is urged to listen to the voice of millions of Africa, of Africans who want to contribute to the welfare of the global community as equal partners. We are confident that uh, under the able leadership of the Secretary General, the UN will scale to greater heights and support countries in implementing the 2030 Agenda and the Paris Agreement. The United Nations staff is also congratulated for their remarkable work in supporting inclusive and sustainable development tackling diseases, promoting peace and stability, and creating a conducive environment for mankind to live in, sometimes under extremely inimicable conditions. The theme of this session, focusing on people striving for peace and decent life for all on sustainable planet, resonates perfectly well with the motto of the Sustainable Development Goals of Leaving No One Behind. This theme is indeed cross-cutting in, in nature as it impacts every aspect 
of life. It calls upon all of us to work towards creating peaceful countries, continents, and sustainable world where people can lead a peaceful and prosperous life. In this vein, we wish to urge the UN member states to join hands in addressing the issues of uh, nuclear threats that have the potential to disturb the world peace. No country has the right to make the world an unsafe place to live, and we owe it to our people and to future generations to put a stop to it. Terrorism still remains a threat to the safety of our people in various parts of the world. It is a setback to key developmental issues that deserve the priority attention of the UN. The Kingdom of Eswatini is committed to peace and a, a decent life for all. We are also firm believers in the principle of a consultative decision making. This involves a transparent and all-inclusive undertaking that grants every citizen an opportunity to voice their views in order to constructively contribute to the social, economic, cultural, and political development of the country. Our country is committed to the SDGs as they provide a framework for development for the global community to strive for inclusive and sustainable development of our respective countries. We have taken uh, several initiatives for mainstreaming and the uh, localization of the SDGs through public awareness, campaigns, consultations, education, and training at all levels. The Kingdom of Eswatini has also integrated the goals into the National Development Strategy, which was uh, revised to capture its linkages with the SDGs and the African Union Agenda 2063. Appropriate institutional arrangements are now in place for proper monitoring of uh, implementation of the goals at all levels. Substantial Development Goal 13 calls for urgent action to combat climate change and its impacts. The agency is now a global reality and recent weather episodes such as uh, hurricanes, floods, and uh, mud sludge across the world have shown that uh, no nation is immune from its impact. The Kingdom of Eswatini is no exception. The Southern African, the Southern African countries, including our Kingdom, faced severe drought conditions in 2015-2016. Its devastating effects aggravated by the fall of the armyworm, adversely affected crop production. Funds from uh, other projects, fr funds from uh, other projects and activities were diverted to mitigate the challenges. The scale of the drought led the Sadak region to declaring it a natural disaster. We are thankful to the UN development partners, the international community, and, and NGOs and other local organizations for supporting us during this uh, period. <clears throat> Government will continue with her program of providing farming input subsidies to our farmers the development of uh, adequate water harvesting infrastructure to enhance food sufficiency will always remain a top priority for the country. 
we urge donors and all nations to not only fulfill their pledge towards the, the Green Fund, but to also adapt policies to strike the correct balance between, between production of uh, essential products and environmental sustainability to protect and preserve the world for future generations. Mr. President, the net enrollment ratio in primary school increased significantly from 79.2% in 2000 to 79 to 97.7% uh, in 2015 in the kingdom. This is a this is a reflection of efforts by the country to ensure that uh, all children have access to education irrespective of their socio-economic status. Government provides for the needs, for the needs of uh, our children. Greater focus is placed on uh, assisting those who are orphaned and uh, vulnerable through various programs that ensure they too are able to access free primary school education and are provided with adequate nutrition through, through school feeding schemes. In our quest to achieve a decent life for all and in line with the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development and Africa's Agenda 2063, the Kingdom of uh, Eswatini has put in place several all-inclusive initiatives which are aimed at ensuring that no one is left behind. Government also provides grants to the elderly as a way of uh, supplementing their livelihood. The Kingdom is also developing innovation parks that uh, will uh, capacitate our young people with creative skills to enable them to contribute to the sustainable development of the country. We would like to forge partnerships with well-established international parks to leverage and learn from their experience. We have uh, urged our private sector to take advantage of this uh, initiative. We believe that uh, this initiative, coupled with many others, will help nature a future generation that is skilled and uh, well equipped to provide solutions to tackle the socio-economic challenges and youth unemployment facing our nation. The Kingdom will uh, be hosting the Sadak University of uh, in in Innovation and Technology. This institution is expected to produce highly skilled manpower and also provide solutions to transform economies, thus enabling countries in the Sadak region to meet their skills gap. We, s we seek the support of highly educated facilitators and the international community to make this project a reality. Tackling poverty, hunger, diseases, burden, and improving the basic standard of living of our people has been at the center of our Vision 2022 and National Development Strategy. The importance of uh, human capital investment and promotion of the interests of vulnerable groups are a crucial step towards economic growth and prosperity. I have full confidence in the innovative and educated workforce that has demonstrated an, an indomitable spirit and uh, resilience to overcome the severe social, economic, and environment challenges we have been confronted with in recent times. As a result, 
rising above adversity to create prosperity for all has been our national guiding theme for 2017. The critical importance of the demographic dividend to Africa's transformative development has been acknowledged by African leaders. They have uh, recognized the urgent need to accelerate the implementation of the African Union roadmap to harness the demographic dividend through investment in our youth. The HIV AIDS pandemic remains one of our priority areas as it continues to um, undermine our sustainable development objectives. It is stretching our health resources to the limit, calling for the collective action by the government, international donors, and other stakeholders to address it. As a nation, we have taken a decision to attain an AIDS-free status in 2022, a vision that is uh, in line with the global agenda to end AIDS by 2030. Mr. President, we are happy to inform this August House of the positive results we have attained through our concerted policies in tackling this scourge. Key findings from uh, the second Swaziland HIV incidence measurements survey, SHIMS 2, revealed that uh, we have achieved more than 70% viral load suppression among adults living with HIV. We have also we have also achieved a major reduction of nearly half in HIV incidence between 2011 and uh, 2016. While we are encouraged by these results, we will continue to do everything within our ability to ensure that uh, there are no new infections. We are also happy to mention that uh, our efforts to tackle malaria eradication is being recognized. We are honored that uh, the African heads of state and government during, the, during their AU summit held in Addis Ababa in January 2017 elected us to be the chair to lead the African Leaders Malaria Alliance, ALMA. Tomorrow we shall be having a side event for malaria here in the United Nations headquarters. Malaria is a sketch that requires our concerted efforts to eradicate it from the face of the earth. We are aiming at uh, partnering with uh, our private sector in Africa and beyond to mobilize resources to combat it. We appreciate the support from our partners and further appeal to the financial institutions, development partners, and donors to join us in this fight since it has handsome dividends for our populations in our resolved, in our beloved African continent. Mr. President, among the political issues that have continued for too long is the denial of the right of the people of the Republic of China on Taiwan to participate in the UN system. Taiwan has shown significant commitment to the ideals of the United Nations and has aligned her priorities with those of the organization. Humankind, therefore, has a lot to benefit from Taiwan's experience towards our global agendas as a member of the UN. I reaffirm the full commitment 
of the government of the Kingdom of Aswatini towards the implementation of the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development Goals. However, it is worth noting that, uh, that while our goals may, may be universal, we do not all share the same capabilities and capacities for implementing them. Hence, recognizing the resource and capacity constraints, there is a need for enhanced resources, capacity building, technology transfer, and South-South cooperation to support lower middle income countries along with the LTCs to achieve the ambitious and transformative agenda. I thank you. May Almighty God bless us all. On behalf of the General Assembly, I wish to thank the Head of State of the Kingdom of Swaziland for the statement just made. May I request representatives to remain seated while we greet the Head of State.